Hi guys, it is a gray gloomy day. Here in the end times, at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, on this cloudy gloomy Tuesday, September 21st. September 21st, 2021, the last day of summer. Good God Almighty, huh? The last day of summer of 2021, and uh, of course, much more importantly than that, it is the last day of my 61st year, as tomorrow I will celebrate 62 turns of the cosmic screw. So I am winding up my pre-retirement years, I guess. So starting tomorrow, I am eligible for Social Security, which I am better goddamn believe I am taking the first day I can get it. So, I don't think this is coincidence, guys. I, you know, these goddamn uh, little algorithms tracking. It's very suspicious on how on the last day I'm 61 years old, I turn on Yahoo News today and one of the articles is named should you retire at 62 and then uh, two more articles about you know looking at do you have enough money for your retirement and uh, all of this and uh, how much money do you need to uh, before you you know hop off the hamster wheel and uh, I am a little bit suspicious about the timing of these uh, articles showing up on uh, my Yahoo news feed. I think the little bots have been busy spying on me. But anyway, however they got there, I did enjoy reading them. And of course, although the, the, the one about, you know, should you retire at 62, which is what, you know, the big question of asking, you know, should you take your Social Security payments at age 62, or should you wait till you're 65 or 67, you know, looking at the advantages and the disadvantages. Now, they were claiming that they weren't going to make a bottom line decision, that it was everyone's decision, but obviously what they were doing in the article was uh, advising people not to take the, uh, not to take the, the money at 62 because, you, you know, you get more money if you wait till 65, if you wait till 67, you get even more money. All right, so, uh, you know, so the, the reason that I took, uh, there's several reasons I went for the, for the 62 uh, to start getting my $750 a month is uh, what I'm going to be getting is the, the, the advantage is always with the house. Always with the house. They would not have structured it like this if the advantage was not with the house. So just do the math. Okay, I am getting $752 a month, so I am making $9,000 a year on uh, taking it at 62. But they was going, they were going, ham on. If you wait till 65 you get $1,100, and if you wait till 67, you get $1,350. Uh, and so I, 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 did the, I, I did the math, but let's just make the math a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm getting 9,000, but let's just say I was getting $10,000 a year. All right, so you're getting $10,000 uh, a, a year, uh, if you take it at 62, well, what that means is, 
between the age of 62 and 65, you rack up $30,000. All right, you have already put 30 grand in your pocket. If you take it at 62, by the time you hit 65, you, uh, you have put 30 grand in. Okay, so figure it out. So let's say uh, that your uh, payment goes up from $10,000 a year to, uh, if you wait till you're 65. Uh, you know, let's say if you wait, you get, I, 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 don't, I don't know, uh, 13,000. But you, anyway, what, what I'm talking about is do, do the fucking math. What you have to do is get the difference in that monthly check. All right, and divide, see how many more, so $30,000, how many months in that extra amount of dollars would it take to add up to the $30,000 I've already gotten? And I did that, and I'm trying to recall, I did this a few weeks ago, it's, uh, I think I was going to be like 73 or 74 years old, assuming I live that long, uh, before, before the lines would cross. It would take that many years to uh, add up to that $30,000 I would have accrued between age 62 and 65. I was up into my 70s. And my God, if I if I had added another two years, I, I probably would have been 80 fucking years old before it would have been the same total amount of payout. And, and of course, what uh, they're literally banking on is uh, how long you're going to live. And uh, they know goddamn well that the that the advantages with the house that spread out over a country of 300 uh, million people that it's going to be a lot less money they pay out the longer people wait. So uh, I went for it. So anyway, that was the, that was that. But what I really enjoyed were, were these articles about how much money you need to comfortably retire. How much money do I need on my 62nd birthday? You know, more or less what they're talking about is factored in this. How much money do I need, of, you know, just available to me uh, in, in my retirement accounts or retirement funds? And I absolutely loved it. Uh, so my income, I'm making about $300 a month now on YouTube. So my income is roughly going to be $12,000. Uh, $12,000 a year is my income. So the, this first article uh, I was reading, they uh, were saying what you should do you know, of course, different people they interviewed, but the, the consensus seemed to be among these financial planners that you should have seven times, seven to eight times your annual salary, you, you know, squirreled away. So if you make a seven times, what's it, 87 times 12, uh, is that 84? I think so. According to this uh, this uh, article, I should have eighty-four thousand dollars and just liquid. What does that like? Eighty-four thousand dollars for me to be able to go to sleep tonight and wake up as a sixty-two-year-old tomorrow without tossing and turning. I am supposed to have eighty-four thousand uh, dollars. Just sitting in a savings account, I guess. That was a true laugh. And uh, 
but the, the real knee slapper was, you know, they did this article. I don't know whether this was from somewhere like Forbes or one of those goddamn uh, magazines. What they were talking about in this article, uh, you, you know, you, you used to hear these these rich folks and these include my own friends and kind of me a few years ago uh, claiming you really can't be comfortable retiring unless you have one million dollars unless you're a millionaire that just used to be a rule of thumb I know one of my good buddies in Austin uh, it was big into this that uh, he can't retire till he has a million fucking dollars in his pocket. Well, this article was what they were doing is throwing that out the window. That one million dollars is so 20th century. They were saying now, if you want to go to sleep tonight and, uh, and wake up as a 62 year old tomorrow, I guess, they're saying you should have two million dollars. If you want to be comfortable when you retire, when you get off the hamster <coughs> wheel, <coughs> two million fucking dollars. Uh, you know, how many people listening to this right now uh, have two million dollars stashed away, have one million dollars stashed away, or even have seven times their annual income. Now, of course, what I forgot to mention is this, this seven times their annual income, you know, they were saying, of course, this advice depends on what your income is. So what they were using, you know, presenting this to these financial advisors was an annual income of $75,000, which I guess, is that the American median income now? $75,000. So you're supposed to have uh, whatever, seven times 75,000. Uh, is, is that somewhere around a half a million dollars? Uh, if, if you're making 75, so somewhere between one half million and two million dollars is what is on the mainstream media this morning. And, uh, you know, of course, getting a sick laugh out of this uh, as I was preparing to go uh, prepare for my retirement by building, you know, by getting a goddamn shovel and, and going out there and, and digging a flood control. Uh, this, this is a former, uh, I've, I've laughed about this before. So 12 years ago, uh, when I was a clueless moron real estate agent, by one bullshit metric, I was a millionaire. By uh, I was a paper millionaire 12 years ago, uh, which is ridiculous because you know that included uh, that that included real estate, but it did not subtract the mortgage off the top. You know, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't equity so much. It, it was the you know what I'm saying. They they didn't factor in uh, how much you owed uh, to the bank on the mortgage. Well, I owed I, I owned five houses, so I I was easily a millionaire. And of course, what I was doing back before uh, I pulled my head out of my ass, or depending on who you would talk to. Uh, stuck my head up my ass is you know my big financial the way I was planning for my future uh, before I ate the five grams of mushrooms is I was in the process of uh, acquiring 40 houses that I was going to keep acquiring more and more I mean you know a, a single man no kids uh, I thought to retire comfortably, what I was going to do is I was going to buy 40 houses, predominantly in Austin, Texas, although I might have gotten a few more elsewhere, 
and just keep amassing house after house after house and then hopefully by the time I was 65 I was gonna have 40 houses that I was gonna own and uh, then I was gonna retire and at 65 and every six months I was going to sell one of the houses you follow me so when I hit 85 so for, for, for age 65 to 85 I was going to sell a house every six months which would you know looking at property values in Austin Texas uh, I would probably would have been a you know a multi-millionaire I'm guessing by now uh, if I had not met Terrence McKenna I would probably own I would probably be about at least halfway there I would own at least 20 houses by now and would be getting the equity so I would probably be worth according to you know one metric uh, I would probably be worth somewhere I don't know between five and ten million I, I mean any house in Austin Texas now good God I would I would probably be be worth about ten million dollars right now if I had uh, if, if I had not uh, met Terrence McKenna and done the five grams of uh, psilocybin mushrooms is my guess I would be technically worth about ten million dollars would probably own 20 houses but instead what I am doing uh, as I wait for my first seven hundred and fifty dollar uh, my first seven hundred and fifty dollar social security check is I am digging a uh, a flood control channel out here with a shovel uh, digging this flood control channel out here in the back 40 and uh, so the plan is uh, well this already happens naturally I'm just helping the creek along that uh, when you, you know in a flash flood what happens is you, you know the 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 water comes pouring this direction but then for some reason it takes a 90 degree angle turn e even more than a 90 degree angle turn and the creek what it wants to do is change its course and uh, run this way so I am actually helping the creek because <clears throat> to have the creek flowing back here is actually a lot farther away from my house than, than it is that, that it would be better for me if the creek flowed this way and uh, so what happens is downstream there's these two big culverts and if the water doesn't slop out over here and keeps going the reason this house is flooded four times is not from the water up here it's uh, that it you know it it goes down to the bridge it fills up those two culverts has nowhere to go and it backs up and uh, comes from downstream it, it, you know the bridge makes a dam and uh, and the water comes from there backs up and floods my house but if enough of the water shoots this way and goes down that direction uh, this is keeping those culverts from uh, reaching the top so that's the whole plan so uh, this is how uh, a doomer how a doomer uh, the former millionaire doomer prepares for his retirement is getting out with a fucking shovel and uh, digging in the dirt trying to change the uh, course of a creek and uh, so that is my financial planning advice to any 61 year old 
I highly advise my financial retirement tip, get a fucking shovel in your hand and dig a flood control ditch around your shack. And that is, uh, that is my retirement plan in a nutshell. Grab a fucking shovel and pray for a drought because we are so fucked. This is your former millionaire <clears throat> signing off back to digging in the dirt while I still can, while I'm still a young man before I wake up tomorrow officially a drooling old fart. Bye guys.